Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here. Welcome back to Dirt 4. Today we're working through some more career stuff, and we are in a new classic rally event. This is going to be in the R3 cars. I have chosen the Opal. This is an interesting category because it is one of the ones that is broken in this game, but apparently it is only broken if you choose the BMW E30, which is a crying shame because the BMW E30 was one of my absolute favorite cars in Dirt Rally. It's broken in the way that the AI cars are running times that are simply not feasible. They are running 10 to 15 seconds faster than the community delta or the the absolute best times that any human has run on the stages so that's a problem i'm hoping that's not the case with the opal but we're gonna find out i'm actually here in this series because i had started the group a series in the modern rally uh to record for last friday however i came up against a very similar situation where I was somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 seconds per sector behind the AI cars. Also, the Group A Subaru had a very strange handling characteristic to it, um, where the car would basically just dart off straight out of a turn with seemingly zero input change. It was, it was very bizarre, uh, and it led me to get frustrated with it and ended up not recording anything uh, so we're gonna back up today we're gonna go back to the classic rally stuff and we're gonna try this opal that is new to me this is new to the game I don't think this was in dirt rally I'm pretty sure of that and uh, see what it's like at night in Australia as you can see I've already done quite a few shakedowns and I can tell you just from the shakedown very interesting kind of car to drive it's uh, it's pretty large rear-wheel drive moderate horsepower mostly at the top end it's uh it's it's quite an interesting thing especially in the nighttime of australia so let's give it a try position and we'll get some cash flow for parts cash flow gotta get that cash flow all right here we go five four three two one go he's right into those base notes very minimalist interior on this thing and in the nighttime very very low lit just seeing the gauges this is another right hand drive vehicle so I am going to uh, have to try and improve on my spatial awareness of the car it has been noted by multiple viewers that uh, I seem to drive worse in the right-hand drive vehicles as I am commonly hitting the left side of the vehicle on things. Even a bigger issue here, since this is a bigger car. Okay, that's a tricky little section there. You can really slide this car, but you don't want to go too crazy with it, because you'll just end up eating away time. And we're going to do stuff like that. That's rear-wheel drive rally, my friends. All right, well, if we had gotten the car going, I could have recovered from that pretty quickly. But I don't think that's end of the world incident. But you really got to watch this thing. It's a momentum oversteer. It really wants to carry that back end of the car around. If you get it sideways, it wants to keep going and keep going around. Right five. It almost feels like maybe it's a car with a long wheelbase. It's kind of how I described driving the S2000 in real-world terms. Uh, it's a car that is so long and rear-wheel drive. That was a terrible, terrible acute turn. Uh, that it seems like the back end when it comes around, it just pendulums around. You know, it's got so much momentum from the rear that it that it wants to slide the car around versus like the 240 not quite as severe in those regards and doesn't want to want to swing all the way around it it's happier just to sit there in that somewhat sideways kind of spot starting to starting to get more comfortable with catching it 
I think this is our first rear-wheel drive car in the game. Slow down for the marshals. Uh, 2.9 seconds, that's not bad, considering. And we're stopped for the marshal. Okay, great. Stage time has been confirmed. Nice one. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to learn. It's a very interesting car to drive. I like that. I mean, I, I like that every car in the game has such unique handling characteristics. I definitely think there's some flaws here and there. Uh, some of the cars don't feel quite as natural as they did in Dirt Rally, for sure. I wish I could have recorded that Group A event, but it was it was so immensely frustrating to drive, I just I couldn't focus on it. Uh, so someday I'll go back to that and hopefully show it off if it never gets fixed. Alright, so we need a clean stage, we need to win a stage, we need a few more splits, and uh, less than five recoveries, we can do that. The Renault 5 is out front, or maybe it's the Renault 5, or maybe it's the Renew 5. Who knows? Everybody knows. The internet knows. But it looks like the BMWs are indeed not as crazy, over-the-top fast in the case where you're driving the Opal. Looks like we're good to go. No holdups. Cool. Looks like the sun's come up too, so that should help us. Long stage, 4 minutes, 50 seconds. Five, on the brake. Four. Three, two, one, go. One ten through deck. But I gotta say, it feels really cheesy. And I don't like the fact that the AI drive at different speeds depending on what car you choose. Uh, it was not the case. I gotta figure out how to deal with those movements, don't I? Uh, it was not the case at Rally where if you chose the slowest car in the field, well, damn it, you better drive really fast. That was how that worked. Uh, in this, it seems like the AI are balanced per car you choose, and that doesn't seem that doesn't seem right. If I want to take the slowest car and try to take on the fastest car, then you should be able to do that. Well, let's focus on driving this one. Let's, let's focus on figuring out this actually very unique driving handling style, I guess. Coupled with the fact it only makes power up top, you really gotta plan your moves out well in advance, it seems. It's such an interesting dynamic to have to learn the way a car drives in your events. <laughs> Jeez. I actually... I'm kind of wondering if it's not open differential. I wonder if I'm not pig-legging it, meaning spinning the inside free wheel and causing those issues. Uh, I'll look at the setup after this and see if it's got adjustable lock on it. I've driven open diff rear-wheel drive vehicles before. Many of my 240s were. And that's, uh, that's right in line with that kind of feeling when you're getting sideways and then all of a sudden one wheel stops spinning and the other one starts spinning much too fast. It causes the car to snap rotate and spin around and pivots on that wheel that's spinning. Or it can cause it to snap straight, which is actually scarier. Arrows? Oh, narrows. Narrows is what he said. I think it's a good pace. Like, it's fast, but it's not so fast that I, I feel uncomfortable in it. Okay, I thought we were gonna nail that sign. Keep right over crest. Left two sixty. Don't cut. I'm trying to left really three, focus on. Keep left over crest. It's oversteer. Here we go. Oh, nice. No, not nice. I thought it was gonna be one of those. Really great. Let's see if it penalizes us here. If we can get back on track. It's like an autocross through the trees. Keep middle over crest. All right, no penalty. Left three. Hmm. And crest. Okay, let's definitely take a look at the setup here. 
that it's device. not as though I can't figure it out. I what think I can figure out how to prevent it doing that. But I would love to know if there's something in the setup I could change to help it. If it needs more rear diff lock, if it's available. Pace-wise, it seems like we're able to keep up just fine. It's just kind of a tricky car to drive. See, I like it in these tighter bits. It's the uh, more open turns that it actually seems to be a bit of a problem. It feels really good in these sections. I'm not really sliding it much at all. Into left three, crest, don't cut, and right four. Five thousand is where it just starts to make power. Right one, and right four of the crest. Left okay, four that tightens. was too much cutting. And right three, don't cut. Yes, sir. And left four. Boy, those spectators are in a bad spot. Right five, don't cut. Over finish to stop. Okay, go over to finish to stop. Okay, Despite our troubles, we won the stage. Definitely showing that the AI may be way over the top fast in the BMW, but maybe a little slow in this car. Very interesting. That went really well. Great stage. Good work. I mean, it it, it went well in results, but uh, overall, we're still fighting some issues. All right, we're first overall, and now we're headed oh we're headed into the rain that's that's gonna throw a wrench into this whole thing because uh, if we're already dealing with an oversteer condition that's hard to control lower grip could cause that to be worse it could cause it to be better and more predictable we've seen that in some of the other cars we will see I did drive one of the slower wheel drive cars can't remember which ones it was all right moving along just fine there a clean stage is going to be difficult that is for sure oh Looks no like service the bumps and scuffs hasn't affected the mechanicals good to know short stage and then we can get to service Five, all right let's see four, what the rain's like three two one go, go. Keep left maybe it'll balance out some of these issues. Maybe, maybe it'll make it worse. Caution. We're going to find left out. Turn right. Keep right <laughs> All right. Handbrake was not necessary left there. Crest. It kicked it sideways left way crest. too early. He right said, screw their banners. Oh, buddy. Crest. That's weird. Right That's five. really weird. Dip. It's it's, it's it's like the smiling Dip. kind of Dip. weird though. Like I'm not I'm not getting angry Dip. at it. I'm just like fascinated by it. Like, what are you doing, car? What? A, how do I need to control you? Now we gotta be careful in this section with the metal fences. I tend to really struggle with that area. Six Turn, please. Eighty power dip. tree out there. <laughs> Left three over crest. There was another crest. car like this in Dirt dip. Rally that had gearing that was constantly Left leaving you dip. out of the crest. power band, Jump and then you would be oversteering and out of power. Left five over crest. I remember which one it was. Huddle there. I just want it to get sideways more to see what the deal is and try to get a better handle on it. Oh, buddy. Boy, it drives. It drives like a mid-engine car. Like, is it lift and off over steer maybe that I'm six feet, that I'm dealing with? I'm three, getting sideways and jumping and off the crest, throttle. Right three, don't cut. And I just need to power it through it. Two, keep right on the crest, All the things that are running through crest, my brain right now. Two. See, I did lift off there. I lifted off and it snapped 90 degrees. Keep left over crest. But I lifted six, off because it felt like it was over rotating. 
right five and left six. So I think left six what I need to do when I feel it over rotating is actually snap the brakes. Sixty. Okay, here we go. To finish. A slide, but then it ran out of power. Slow to the All right. Please. Yeah, we're doing fine. And uh, although it's not super clean, this is really fascinating to me. I'm, I'm really enjoying trying to figure out what exactly the car is doing and what exactly I'm doing. All right, moving right along into uh, Geogla Gully. Still in the rain. Then we have a dryer stage after that, so we need to not to go too crazy on adjustments. I, I want to look at that differential setting though. I think that could really, I think that could really be uh, something to enlighten us as to what's going on with the car. Bloop. All right, moving on. First, we need to do repairs, though. Let's see. We'll clean it. Uh, oh, I didn't need to inspect the power unit. Oh well. Get that gearbox fixed, as well as the dampers. Confirm all of that. Didn't need to replace anything, so that's good. Tune vehicle. Let's let's the uh, the spare tires in there. I'm gonna leave it because weight in the rear can only be good for this thing, I believe. Uh, alignment. We can only change front camber, of which it has zero of. That seems strange, does it not? Now, granted, more camber up front. Seems like it would uh, would cause us more issues. It does have an LSD, and it is 75% locked. Whether that is a clutch pack or viscous, I don't know. There is no rear anti-roll bar in it either. Nothing here tells me this car should be snapping so oversteer like it is. Huh. I'm gonna put some camber in the front, just because it seems really weird to have none. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually move the brake bias to the front a little bit. So that I can maybe use the brakes to help snap it forward a bit more. Other than that, I don't really see any other obvious things I want to change. Uh, we could put a bigger front anti-roll bar in it, and in fact it is running very little. But I don't want to go too crazy with this, so let's 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 go with that, and we'll keep trying to uh, dial this in with the loose nut behind the wheel. Nothing to report for the marshal, so good luck. Good luck. Good luck to you. All right. Five, four, three, three two, two, one, go. One ten through dip. I like the little uh, winglets on the fenders. That is such a cool detail to this car. <laughs> I want those on my car. Like, it's impossible that those are making any kind of significant difference. But I just love the little detail of it. I love the fact that they were trying something there. Was it for Aero? Oh, we caught that one. Or was it for dirt management, like to keep the windshield clear? Was it for style? Who knows? I'm sure somebody knows. But I still find it really interesting. <laughs> nice little kick out at the end there, but probably could have taken that faster. Funnel. Right three, sixty, don't cut. Right two, don't cut. I'll say this. When it's not doing the snapping sideways 90 degrees thing, it is a total pleasure to drive in these conditions. A lot of people complained about the rear wheel drive cars when this game came out, saying they don't slide enough and they don't slide as much as they should. I was not so sure about that. Having ridden in a BMW E30 rally, uh, rally prepared car, 
They really are more stable than you would think. They don't get quite as sideways as you might expect. Dirt and uh, rally tires. You know, they're designed for this. They're designed to keep traction. And uh, pretty effective at it. In the tight stuff, in the hairpins, sure. You know, it would it would spin the rear tires and get it sideways. But it wasn't like every single turn was was yawing out sideways. Right four, don't count. You hear it though. That's you hear the rear spin a bunch when that happens. And I can't figure out if it's a traction issue or a lifting a wheel issue. A turn open hairpin right. Eighty. I really think it's a lifting a wheel issue. Which, I mean, this thing has virtually no anti-roll bars in it. Wouldn't you think that would cause some wheel lifting? Maybe. I mean, I'm starting to be able to control it a little bit better. But it still doesn't make perfect sense to me. Keep right over crest. 80. Caution. Crest. Left 2. Oh, it's going to be a, a tricky left 2, isn't it? Keep left over crest. Oh, slow down. Huh? Uh. Right 6. Left 3. Arrows. Handle that pretty well, I think. Long. 80 through dip. Left 5. Don't cut. All right. There we go. Okay. Six feet. Caught the rear on the dirt. Two. The don't berm. Cut. Tree. <laughs> All right. Get a reverse. Get a reverse. We had a big lead. We can recover from this. And I thought it was going to be our clean stage. Not to be. Not to be. Left two, 60, don't cut. Left three, don't cut. Keep left over crest. Good thing we had that big lead, though. Over finish to stop. Whoa, buddy. Well. Okay, get and it's still green. Wow, yeah, the AI are forked in this series playing on brutal there's no way I should be winning stages with spins like that why is he still Amazing waving at me result. that's some beatable I'm gonna disagree with you that's pretty beatable pretty beatable but we are still first to have one stage left to go here in Australia I'm enjoying it slightly frustrated that I'm not seeming to figure it out but uh, I'm enjoying the process of trying to figure it out. And come on, YouTube comments. <laughs> of course, I'm going to find all the answers. <laughs> oh, sadness. Uh, somewhere, apparently, we had a clean stage. I don't remember that. So, we've pretty much done everything. They are happy. Looking like a clear run. Marshall hasn't said anything otherwise. Stay sharp and focused. Now he's calling him Marshall. <laughs> he didn't say the Five, Marshall. He just four, said Marshall. Three, two, one, go. go. One hundred through deck. It's cloudy. Keep right over crest. But still moist Five, conditions. Don't cut. Eighty through deck. Left five long. Titans into right three. Keep middle over crests. Try and have no snap around issues this, this stage. That is the goal. Right over crest. Right five. Eighty through dip. Left two. Tame this this beast. Into left two over crest. Don't cut. And right four. Like if we can't tame crest. this thing, dip. we are gonna right have a crest. hell of a time taming the group B cars. Crest. Left four. And caution. Right two. I bet you that's the car I was thinking of. With the gearing right that was Don't awkward cut. was the Opal Manta rear-wheel drive group B car. Left five. Left five dip, don't cut. Left three long. Interesting right that they're both opals. Don't cut. Sixty. Right five long. Don't cut. Caution. Okay. Crest. Jump baby. Right five. Don't cut. Eighty. Caution. Breaking. Bump. Turn. Ooh, that's a fun little turn there. Left five through dip. Keep right over crest. <laughs> it snaps so late. Left like, I keep waiting for it to get four, sideways to get around cut. there. Out. Left three over crest. But it takes a while. Right five. Right two. Ooh, okay, that was close. Crest. 
and right four don't cut. That little marker left sign two, six, feared for its cut. life. Left three don't cut. Keep left over crest. Alright. Kind of predicted it dip. getting sideways there. Keep middle over crests. 80. Left three don't cut. And crest. Right three. Into left Very nice two. breaks. Right Predictable. Doesn't. Desire to lock up terribly much. Left five long tightens into right three. I've left been uh, into right three over I've crest. been let's say instructed into right five. that I need to be better at threshold breaking. But I will say this left three nice save crest. there. That's not what I will say. I'll say this, it's very difficult to do with just regular spring loaded pedals. If I had some kind of nice hydraulic pedals, maybe. Oh, boo! That's dunk. Left five. Maybe I can get better at it, but uh, don't cut. Through dip. Left these five. they just feel don't nothing cut. like a real brake pedal. I gotta be honest. Right Even with the spring mod. Don't cut. Left five. Right five. But it's okay. Into left six it is, in the end, still video Don't games. Right five, 60, I get my fill. Crest. Well, I what usually get my fill dip. of, of real-life car Don't driving five, and competition. Don't cut. Left three, Not so much this year, but Don't cut. hopefully Eight soon. Dip. Left three over crest. Dip, crest, through gate, left four. Easy. And power, power, power. Two over crest. I think I'm learning something. A little too late. But I really think a big part of it is right wrong two. gear. I'm in too high of a gear when I'm sideways, five. and the car gets. doesn't have power to get out of it. Keep left over crest. And crest jump maybe so if I was at higher RPM, finish. the engine would have had enough power to pull me out of the slide instead of just Hopefully bogging down. And when it bogs down, that's when it slides out or or does the 90 degree move perfect great result well done well, I'm a little disappointed five stages we didn't I didn't really seem to nail any of them I didn't really feel like I got that particular issue under control uh, but I'm happy with the result and I did have fun first so there's that <laughs> And we made all our sponsors happy. We made some money. And we got some points. And we're moving on to Spain. Now this is going to be a fun car in Spain. I have to imagine. As long as it doesn't do the crazy thing there. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be really fun in Spain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dirt 4. And, uh, and trying to figure out what was going on with me. Uh, and what was going on with me. <laughs> but uh, that will do it for this episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. And we'll see you next time here in Dirt 4.